Hey, this is Glenn at Leica Public Safety. This example here is for uh, pre-planning for security um, application, that sort of thing. What I've done is done a basically 2D drawing from a point cloud. So we've kind of labeled um, our, our everything in our drawing. We know that this is our target, 2929 uh, 123rd Ave in Portland. We've got the cross streets. We've got our escape route this way. I put on some 3D symbols of where we could have snipers or people walk, you know, um, dog walking or or just um, doing doing a route that sort of thing. Um, one of the cool things we can do is we have the perspective of being able to um, trace all the windows and doors and that sort of thing. So in this building here we can have a good 3D view of where all those windows windows are in space and doors and exits and entrances and that sort of thing. Um, you can also do a full... Um, I'll attach some 2D drawings as well, which highlight this as well. So if you wanted to label everything, to, you can label it as you like, um, either in 2D or you can make 3D labels as well. So I just have the dimensions and kind of the labels for the different rooms turned on. Um, but it gives you a good idea of kind of what that whole area looks like. You can look at or interrogate it in any way you like or drop your own I've dropped a couple 3d symbols on here namely this Ford truck um, and this tree here as well um, so you can kind of look at it in any view that you would like in 3d um, if we to go ahead and um, I'm gonna turn the point cloud data on here just so you can see what that looks like so you'd, you'd flesh out the whole neighborhood as well if you wanted to do that um, and you can kind of clip things. So if you wanted to just not see the roof of the house and be able to see in there, you could make a clip and, and basically turn off the roof or turn off parts of the point cloud you don't want to see. Um, and the other thing that is helpful with these types of drawings is if you have a drone image or any sort, of, you need any sort of reference image from the neighborhood, um, we can go into our data tab here and bring in a Bing map or bring in a drone image, a GeoTIFF or anything like that. If you have it, we can um, work with that. So I do have that as an image layer here. So if I turn that on, I got a good reference from uh, what the rest of the neighborhood looks like. And we can draw right on top of here as we like. So that's kind of an overview of how you would make a, you know, a pre-plan for security. You could you could set up what you like in terms of um, what you want to highlight, drop any sort of symbols or positions or targets on here um, to give people a good idea where they might be um, wanting to be in a, any given scene and how to get out or where you're going to enter a home or a building or any of that sort of stuff. So hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime. And uh, thanks for having a look at MAP 364 Security Planning.